Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Thank you for stopping in today. We have a Civivi knife here to unbox. This is actually something that I picked up, and I've actually owned one of these knives previously. And I'm pretty excited to have it back and get it back into the collection here. If you like knife and EDC content, you're in the right spot. I release daily videos, and make sure you hit that thumbs up button. That really helps push this video out there to more people. Let us know what you're carrying in your pockets today down in the comments. Love seeing what you guys have for your EDC. So the knife we are taking a look at here is the Savivi Brazen or Brazen, however you want to pronounce it. Now, this knife has underwent quite a few changes over the years, over the last two years or so. It originally came out in a 14C variant. Then they put out a Damascus variant like you see here in this drop point configuration. Then they came out with a Tanto variant in D2. Now they have Tantos and drop points in 14C. And I believe they even have, I believe, a button lock version of the Brazen. Now, this knife right here in the drop point configuration might be a little harder to find in stock. I do know that the Damascus Tanto versions are in stock. The regular drop point 14C versions are in stock. Uh, it's just this specific model right here might be hard to track down. It's got a beautiful drop point blade. I love the Damascus on the the blade here on the Brazen. Uh, it's one I remember really, really liking. And I believe Civivi's using some 9CR or 10CR variable for their for their Damascus. Uh, I don't know if it's 9CR or if it's like a 10CR VG10 type of deal. It's, it's one of them too, I believe. So it's going to have decent performance. It's going to be pretty stainless. And it's going to have all right edge retention, be able to take an edge very well. But it's like I always say with these Damascus version knives, Civivi, Concept, whoever's doing these uh, in a Damascus form, not Damasteel, but a Damascus form in like the VG10 combo, it's not something you're going to buy for performance. This is something you buy because you like the aesthetic of the knife with the Damascus or you like the Damascus pattern. It's not something you're going to necessarily get for performance. You're going to get decent performance out of it, but if you're looking for the most performance out of the knife, typically the non-Damascus versions are going to be better in that regards, depending on what you're looking for. You know, 14C is going to be a lot tougher than this uh, Damascus steel is here. Probably about similar corrosion resistance. Uh, and then as far as edge retention goes, they might be pretty close uh, as far as 14C and this Damascus here. And then Concept also does the same thing uh, with 154 and 14C. So yeah, typically, you know, if you're looking for performance, you might want to go with just the base steel. But if you're looking for a little flare and a little flash, the Damascus is not a bad option, especially when you're getting it from a reputable company like Civivi here. You know what you're getting. I love that this has dull thumb studs and a rear flipper tab that's well executed and it's just as snappy as I remember it to be. Now, I do have another Brazen somewhere. Uh, I, I don't know if it's in my truck or where it is, but it's a uh, basic 14C and G10 version. Love that as well. We have great access to that liner. We have jimping on the liner. Beautiful micarta handles here. Deep carry clip, reversible. It's not recessed, but the screws are and that's going to leave you plenty of room in there. And then we have a G10 backspacer here with an integrated lanyard hole. Tons of milling internally there on those steel liners. 
Another reason I love this knife is because of the size of this thing. It's right there at a full size knife. We're looking at right at eight inches and that is considerably a full size knife and we're at about three and a half inches of cutting edge and then uh, I would say three and five eighths of total blade length depending on where you want to mark it. Here it is up against the pair of three up top and the full size bug out down below. It's going to be quite a bit bigger than both of those. And we have the QSP Penguin up top here and the Civivi Elementum. It's going to be quite a bit bigger than both of those. And one more set. We have the AD 20.5 up top there and the Paramilitary 2 down here on the bottom. It's going to be fairly close to the 20.5 but still a little bit bigger and we have similar blade lengths here as the pm2 but the pm2 handle is going to be quite a bit larger as far as how much this thing weighs we have steel liners nice thick micarta for our topper there and we have a backspacer coming in at eight inches i bet this is like three three eight three eight oh, I was gonna say three five two dang pretty close pretty close not bad at all that is right on point if that is something that you care about at all which it's not uh, for me anyway and if you're wondering what I'm talking about there's something what I call ratio people and those people are worried about if we have three and a half inches of blade length they want three and a half ounces or under or it's not proportional or the ratios are off and i will be done there i am not a ratio person i love the pm2 ratio people hate the PM2. Now there's there's weight ratio people. There's blade to handle ratio type people. And then you have combinations of both. So the PM2, the handle's quite a bit longer than the blade. And that doesn't bother me in the slightest. Uh, you know, especially if you have larger hands, you know, a larger handle you can appreciate so I guess if I could see if you have small hands or smaller hands uh, where that it still doesn't make sense either way so I'm not making excuses for you uh, but either way now there is one time or one scenario at least where I can get with that if you're buying a knife for a specific purpose then i i i can understand that right if you're looking for something lightweight you know that type of deal but to look for that in every knife eh, i just i'm not you know i don't i don't see it but uh yeah for a specific knife a specific role for the knife no question so we're going to check this clip here in our Issuing Stitches Hank. Link is always in my description. I've had people asking me about the different Hanks. They're very affordable. He is out of Pennsylvania. He does all these himself. And he has given my viewers, doesn't help the channel, doesn't help me. It's not an affiliate link. It's just for my viewers, a 10% code that is always linked down in the description. And I always use an Issuing Stitches Hank in these videos just because he is a huge, huge supporter of mine, and he has been pretty much since the start of my channel. Back to the knife here. It is going to carry nice and deep. This is Savivi's old-school deep carry clip, and I think they might even still use it on some models, but that's the, the old-school clip right there. It's actually a little bit shorter. I think they have some that are a little longer, uh, so this might be kind of a reiteration of their old, old clip. But love the brazen. I will have this linked down in the description of this video. Uh, off center a little bit. 
probably, yeah, the pivot's a little loose. Uh, I'll link this down in the description. I can't, you know, I won't say this one that I, you know, I can recommend this as a good knife. Uh, I've had three of them now, at least. And uh, I can recommend this as a good knife. I, don't, I won't recommend the Damascus version to you unless you're looking for flair, uh, you know, or pizzazz. But if, if you're looking for a cutting tool that's going to have good performance, pick up the Drop Point or the Tanto in 14C, and you are going to be getting a very affordable knife that uh, is going to have a ton of value with it. You know, my Carta in 14C, G10 in 14C, that's a, that's a great combination for around $50 or so. So before we scurry off here, Yeah, it's off to the show side a smidge. And now it is centered. Very good. Very nice. Just a little, little tighty tight. Ooh, that even, isn't that funny? Just a little quarter turn can make uh, the action that much better. And as I said at the beginning, detent is tuned perfectly for this knife. Thumb studs work great. You have great access to them. They chamfer this area out on both sides very nicely. Flipper tab is jimped, and it works really, really well for the light switch. And because it's flat-faced, well, it's got a pretty stout detail. I was going to say you can probably push-button it, but it's pretty stout. So I'd probably stick with the light switch, but... <clears throat> a beautiful action closing action is buttery buttery smooth love the brazen and this one i will not be letting go of you have to let me know have you ever seen the brazen before ever handled one ever saw one before and if you haven't does it look like a great knife good knife bad knife to you I love hearing from you either way, even if it's just what you're caring for the day. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button on your way out. I always appreciate that, everyone. If you're new here, I release daily knife and EDC content. Make sure you're subscribed. Ring the bell. That'll notify you anytime I release new content. And when I go live, which is Saturday and Monday nights every week, 9 p.m. Eastern, everyone is welcome to come hang out. Just watch, just listen, chit chat with everybody and have a good time. I'd love to have you there. I will put up a couple of new videos here and here. Go check one of them out. Have yourself an awesome day. Thank you all again. I will catch you on the next one.